There is a very dangerous false teaching that is sending many Christians to hell, and today we need to discuss this. I originally wasn't going to make any videos about this. However, I have seen so many people in my personal life fall prey to this heresy. It's become a big issue, and it's spreading like a cancer in the body of Christ. So today, we have to address this. What's going on, guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. This false teaching in the Christian church called hyper grace is sending millions of Christians to hell. But what exactly is the hyper grace movement? The hyper grace movement emphasizes that grace covers all sin, past, present, and future, which leads people to believe that obedience to God's commands as well as exemplifying godly behavior is not necessary. However, in Romans 6, 1-2, Paul says, what shall we say then? Shall we go on sinning so that grace may increase? By no means, we are those who have died to sin. How can we live in it any longer? Yes, grace is an aspect of God. However, some people go to the extreme by using grace as a license to sin, and eventually they deny the very Lord that paid the price for their salvation. The hyper grace movement also believes that repentance is not necessary for salvation because of the all-encompassing grace that they emphasize. However, in Acts 3.19, it says, repent then and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. The reality is, a Christian is going to live a life of repentance. Repentance is not a work, it's simply a lifestyle. People in the hyper grace movement also emphasize that holiness and sanctification is not necessary for a Christian, since grace covers all of their shortcomings. However, in 1 Peter 1 15 to 16, it says this, But as he who has called you is holy, you also be holy in all of your conduct. Since it is written, you shall be holy, for I am holy. The reality is, the Bible calls us to pursue a life of holiness, and just because God's grace is a real thing, does not mean that we have to discard everything that he commands us to do. In fact, that's a very dangerous way to live, because soon you will find yourself walking in disobedience. This heresy has existed for thousands of years, and the Bible even addresses it. For certain individuals whose condemnation was written about long ago, have secretly slipped in among you. They are ungodly people who pervert the grace of our God into a license for immorality and deny Jesus Christ as our only sovereign and Lord. Even Jude was warning early believers to not distort God's grace as a license for sinful behavior. The reality is the hyper grace movement is an ultimate flesh pleaser because it gives you all the benefits of God without the judgment and the wrath if you disobey. It allows you to enjoy all the benefits of God without any of the submission. The hyper grace movement treats God like a lottery jackpot ticket rather than an all-encompassing loving father who has adopted us into sonship and daughtership into his royal family. Where as long as you believe in his son and profess that with your mouth, but you live a lifestyle contrary to his word, you can still make it into heaven. This is a teaching straight from the pits of hell. And if you submit to this teaching, you will not go to the kingdom of God. This is biblical blasphemy and God is not pleased with this. I'm here sounding the alarm, trying to lead people back to the arms of the father, as well as trying to pluck them out of the doctrines that hell has been concocting. If you believe in not abusing God's grace, but living a life of holiness, I want you to comment down below, repentance is necessary. If you guys want to financially sow into this ministry, I have an offering link that's in the description. And I also have merch you can buy, which is also linked in my description. If you guys want to watch my last video, simply click up here. And if you guys want to subscribe to the channel, simply click up here. I'll see you guys very soon for another video. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out.